Welcome to Children's Liturgy. Today is the feast of the body and blood of Christ. When we think particularly about the words Jesus said to the disciples at the Last Supper and the promise he made to them and to us when he blessed the bread and wine and shared it. In doing this, the bread and wine became something more, something very special. So special that it is remembered and celebrated at every Mass. So we have lit our candles to remind us that God is with us and we'll make the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. A reading from the Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus says, I am the bread of life which has come down from heaven. Anyone who eats this bread will live forever. The bread that I shall give is myself, given that the world may live. Anyone who eats this bread and drinks this cup has eternal life. Anyone who eats my flesh and drinks my blood lives in me and I live in him. This is the bread sent from heaven. Anyone who eats it will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's begin by thinking about celebrations and special meals. Can you remember any special meals you've had? Who was there? What did you eat? How did you feel? One of my favourite meals was a roast dinner because we had it when grandma and granddad came round. I really enjoyed it because it was a family tea and it made me feel very happy. My favourite meal was my birthday meal because I had a, a burger and some chips and I was very excited. At Christmas it made me feel very happy because all my family was there and I got to see them all together and we had a very nice roast dinner. Jesus shared many meals with his disciples, but we know that the Last Supper was extra special. At this meal, he took the bread, blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples and said, take this and eat it, this is my body. And the same with the wine. He blessed it and shared it with the disciples and said, take this and drink it, this is my blood. At this point, the normal bread and wine became something more. They symbolise so much more. Jesus sharing his love and power with the disciples. In today's gospel, Jesus went on to say that he is the bread of life that has come down from heaven. Again, trying to explain to the disciples that the bread and wine he shared was extra special. He gave a gift and a promise that those who eat this special bread and drink this special wine will have eternal life in heaven. At Mass, we're invited to share this special meal too. The priest takes the bread and wine and says the same words that Jesus said at the Last Supper. Take this and eat it. This is my body. Take this and drink it. This is my blood. The priest lifts up the bread, but it's not ordinary bread anymore. It's Jesus, the body of Christ. We also call it the host. The priest then takes the chalice, the special cup, holds it up, and again, it's not ordinary wine anymore. It becomes Jesus, the blood of Christ. You might remember a special part in Mass when Father lifts up the bread or lifts up the wine and holds it for a few seconds. Sometimes there's a noise like bells or a gong to really mark this moment. This is the exact moment when it stops just being normal bread and wine and becomes something more. So although it doesn't look any different, it is different because Jesus is now present in it. Some of Jesus' specialness is now in the bread and wine. If you've made your first Holy Communion, you can have some of this special bread and wine. Can you remember what to do when you go up for Communion? So, to walk to do Holy Communion, 
you have to walk up with your hands like this and when you get to Father Stephen you put your hands like this and he gives you a piece of the host and you put it in your mouth and go in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and look at the cross in the middle of the church and then um, you walk up with your hands crossed and get back to your feet. We walk up the aisle with our hands together in prayer. And when we reach the priest, we have one hand on top of the other, usually with our writing hand underneath. Then Father, or one of the Eucharistic ministers, holds up the host and says, the body of Christ. And we say, Amen, which means, yes, I believe. Then we take the host, put it in our mouth, and make the sign of the cross. Then we receive from the chalice, a Eucharistic minister holds it up and saying, the blood of Christ. And again, we say, Amen, and take a tiny sip. When we do this, some of that specialness of Jesus that was in the bread and wine goes into us. If you haven't made your first Holy Communion yet, remember that you can always receive a blessing by going up with your hands across your chest like this. And if you're one of the children who was supposed to make your first Holy Communion this year, don't worry, you'll get your chance. In our first activity today, we will be making a stained glass effect host and chalice picture. This would be most suitable for younger children. Begin by drawing a picture of a host and chalice on card. There is a template of this that you can download and print in the description below the video. Cut out the middle to leave the outline. Put glue around the outside of the shapes. Then stick tissue paper over the shapes. Keep going overlapping the tissue until the whole shape is covered. Turn it over to reveal the stained glass effect. Our second activity today is creating a word search. This would be most suitable for older children. There is a link to a blank word search template in the description below this video and also a word search that I've made that you can print off and complete if you like. Your word search should include some of the special words we've talked about today like host, chalice, body, blood and Christ. Begin by picking 10 words and writing them on the spaces below the grid. Then write these 10 words in the grid. You can write them across, down, diagonally, forwards or backwards if you want them to be really tricky to find. It is best to write all the words in capital letters. When you've written all 10 words, you need to fill in all the leftover spaces with random capital letters. You can use each of the letters of the alphabet two or three times. Then do all the vowels, A, E, I, O and U. Then you could do letters from the names of your family and friends. Keep going until every space is filled. Then you could give it to a family member to solve. Thank you for joining us for Children's Liturgy today to celebrate the body and blood of Christ.